<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair call, fair call. <laughs> All right, so we're doing this? Yep, when you're ready. All right. Who ended up here first? Um, it was definitely me. Probably. You sure? Well, I think it was actually, yeah. yeah. It was. It was pretty much, we'd had each other on social media for years and then I've seen he's moved, he put a photo up and it's just like, oh yeah, how good's this? It was a, pre a very similar backdrop to this we have now. And I was like, oh man, do you live in Cairns? Just hit him up. He's like, yeah, just moved. I was like, me too. Let's fish. What are we Pretty friends? much. <laughs> like, goes from there, it was pretty cool. Much. Like, I, I grew up in Mackay and like he'd spent a bit of time there. so. We'd had the same little circle of friends and you know, everyone that's the beauty, yeah, the beauty of social media is everyone in the fishing community knows everyone. So it's like straight away, we sort of got off on the right foot. Yeah, you reckon it's like coincidence that we ended up in the same place? Probably not. We both have the exact same drive, like for fishing. It's all we think about, it's all we want to do. Without being cliche, it's probably definitely meant to be, I guess. Like we're just very identical people and just vibe that hard together out in the boat and just have a great time. Like catching fish is just definitely a bonus. Every lunch break for me is like Google Earth or literally, I hope my boss isn't watching this, but like legitimately it's like pull up at a little creek on Smoko and like I'm having a flick or Google Earth and stuff and it's like we live and breathe it, like we live in like the greatest part on Earth, you know, like it's, it's wicked here, you know, it's, you're an idiot if you don't immerse yourself in it to the, like the level that we do. Jungle, JP, Sooties, all that stuff, like when it's windy, you know, six months of the year here. You've got some of the best rivers, like net free zones, Barra, and then 12 mile offshore, you've got the reef. So it doesn't really get any better. So welcome to our humble bachelor pad. Excuse the mess, we actually spent hours cleaning, so it's all good. This is a fishing room. We've got a couple bits and pieces in here. I think uh, we do like to fish. We are covered from for pretty much everything from perch to estuary to blue water, the whole lot really. This is the trailer we're working on, mm. Isaac's boat, which you'll probably see later as the uh, garden ornament. Yeah, it's only been on the go for like, what? Like two years, years now? Yeah, we hit us. Two we years, two houses, slow start. like several different trades people. One day it'll take push. one day. It'll be worth it. So you are ready to get gal dipped. Oh yeah. That is my biggest cray I got in Bamaga. It's not even big, Stixie. Why'd you get that out it's, 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 it's a big yabby. It is, yeah, it's a base. It's, it's a bit above prawn, average. Mate. It's a prawn. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that was about 3.4 kilo. Biggest one I've got so far. Me poor boat's been sitting on tyres for months. I hate it. Makes me feel sad every time I come outside, but once the trailer's done, we'll be sweet. We go on bush and do Straight all bush. of the epic stuff that we can. Straight away bush. Flicking's at least got mine's, a trailer yeah, on Yeah, mine's on a trailer. Not the best yet, I've got to build. Possibly usable. After Isaac's finished, we'll be building um, 
a very similar one for mine. So, but yeah, that's the new rig. She's not quite finished yet, still a fair bit to do, but like Isaac said, we plan on just going remote as and trying to get into some massive fish. Oh, we're, um, we've just loaded up. We're going to fish a mix of sort of P3, P4 setups, that sort of stuff, just mid range. Um, weather's probably not going to permit us to go to the shelf, so we'll just stick to the, the inshore reefs and all the, uh, the islands and headlands, that sort of stuff. So we're not going to need anything too ridiculous, but yeah, P3, P5 gear, 100 pound liters, pretty basic, some, um, some Nomad Buffalo jigs. We'll um, show you some more of the specifics. We're on the boat tomorrow and get into it. Oh, massive car, sick. For us, like our, our latest little fad craze that we've been sort of hooked on is, um, is, is slow pitch jigging and doing all that sort of stuff. Like we, we came up here and, and fished top water for, yeah, really the, the first two years that we were here. And it's sort of, the last season or two, it, it's really gone quiet. And I don't know, uh, no idea why. Everything sort of really, really pulled up. So we've sort of made a bit of a move to, to deeper water and, um, yeah, basically put a lot of effort into it and a lot of time and it, it sort of consumes pretty much every opportunity of good weather now. We're going out and we're not even taking casting rods in the boat, you know, we're, we're, no. we're just slow pitching everything and the, the yeah. stuff that we catch is just ridiculous, you know. It's a complete, complete and utter lucky dip, isn't it? Like, yeah, it is. Oh, flutie. Bit of variety. All snout and just a tiny little opening on the end. Flute fish. I think there's a few different species, but how cool is a little uh, little twisty tail? Oh, dude! What the hell? So big. I think it is a red. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, flicking. Yes. yes. Man, that one I lost must have been a cracker. Man, I got eaten like three times then. Yeah, getting a red on jig is um, definitely right up there for demersals anyway. It's probably one of the best fish you can probably grab, so pretty stoked even though he's a little fella. That'll probably be uh, our dinner, I think. No, I, th I think for me, like what we do now, it's like, it's beyond like a hobby or anything like that. Like for me, it's an addiction. Like I get real, I get real crabby. Like if I don't go to the reef, like yeah. for a couple of weeks, like it, I, I'm not happy. And end of the day, like we're, we're just like, 
two pretty stock oh. standard tradies that kick around, do our stuff. We just yeah. want to make our money so we can fund and go fishing in little boats. You know, yeah. like that's that's what we live for. That's, so yeah. that's what we do.